Hello guys, my name is Kiki and it's time to make crafting fun! Today's a special day because all you need is love! And as you can see, I went all out with the love over here! <laughs> We're gonna be making lots of beautiful DIYs to decorate your tray or you can decorate your home with them! So we're gonna make them lovely and cutesy and very valentiny. Now let's jump in to create those DIYs! The first one we're gonna make is the beautiful arrows and we're gonna make mini or smaller arrows. <laughs> and I'm using some of the hearts, foam hearts, you can use foam hearts, you can use them from the pecs or maybe those that you use as base fillers and now I'm taking a feather and as you can see I cut that feather in a couple of pieces and I'm gluing it to the tail. Those skewers were cut in half. So we have a beautiful arrow and I'm gonna add the feathers to all of them then I'm gonna glue them together and now let me show you how I did that. It's looking beautiful right? Now let's jump into making one. We're gonna cut those feathers like that and we're gonna glue the feather to the bottom of the arrow like this. Then we're gonna make the other ones, adding hot glue to that skewer and adding the feather to the bottom. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble all of them like crisscrossing them between each other. Just like that, we're gonna take them, I'm just removing all the feathers, <laughs> and then we're gonna do the crisscrossing of them, like this, and we're gonna glue them together, and let that glue set before you move them like I did here. <laughs> but this is how they look together, let me show you. They are looking beautiful, and now I'm moving them. <laughs> But this is them. <laughs> and here you can see them all dry, the glue. <laughs> and together looking so cute. And you can add this to any tear tray. Our next DIY, we're gonna take this hearts that I found at the dollar store. And you can use lacquer, as I'm using, or any color paint you want. First thing, I'm gonna give a good first coat to them. But let me remove that ribbon. You can find the dollar store hearts and do the exact same thing. Now I'm gonna apply a second coat and after I apply it I'm using antique wax as you know I love to antique that color a little bit more. Now let me show you again. We add the antique wax to the wet paint like this and they look beautiful. Let them dry really nicely and use a piece of burlap and glue that burlap to the heart like this and repeat on the other one, that's not the other side, that's another one. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back with black paint and we're gonna write in that XO, XO. <laughs> Very loving, right? <laughs> so we're gonna add the XO, XO to both of our burlap pieces, like this. Now we repeat on the other one and then we're gonna close them using the back part or the other part that makes them close. <laughs> and we're gonna do that to both of them. And we will have beautiful hearts to decorate our tray. And now you can see them here together looking so cute. And I love that XOXO. They look beautiful. Don't you think? This is part of the all you need is love tear tray challenge hosted by my beautiful friend Carol from my blessed nest. In the description box down below you're gonna find the link to her channel and also to the playlist so you can go and check out what everyone else created for this challenge. And remember that if you like modern farmhouse bow decor and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here. So subscribe and hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. Also, go and check me out on my social media so we can be friends over there and have lots of fun together. Now to make this one, we are going to use a Noel sign and I'm going to cut those letters like that. And here we have them, now I'm going to cut that in 
So we can make a V. Yes, we're gonna make a love sign out of a Noel sign. And this was an idea that my beautiful friend Jamie gave me to make this a beautiful Valentine sign. So we're gonna now glue those to the base like this. And we're gonna make this love sign. And I wanted to show you that maybe you don't have the right supplies to make your Valentine tray. But you can make it out of old Christmas decor. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue those together like this. And after we glue them, we're gonna let them set really nicely. <laughs> I have an issue with my patience on waiting for things to dry. And you know me. <laughs> so, we're gonna let them dry. And then we're gonna come back with lacquer from Waverly. And we're gonna paint those letters completely like this. We're gonna give it a really good coat all around so it looks really, really beautiful and red and loving. <laughs> so we're gonna paint it all around like this, front and back and also the sides. So we have a beautiful love sign for our tray. We're gonna continue painting until we cover everything and make it look cute. And just like that, we have it all covered beautifully. Let it dry really nicely. Really, really nicely. Here we have the beautiful love sign. Don't you think it looks beautiful for being a Noel sign? It looks awesome. Now let's make a beautiful beaded wreath. And for that, I'm using this small wreath that I found at my local dollar store. You can get them at Dollar Tree if you can find them. And we're going to remove the tinsel because you know I don't like the tinsel. <laughs> so we're going to remove that tinsel completely, unwrap it all around until you get that metal kind of thingy frame. <laughs> yeah, I love my thingies. <laughs> so we're going to remove that and here we have it. And I'm going to take those vase filler beads kind of thing. And I'm going to cut them in half while I find my good knife. <laughs> and we're going to cut them in half all around until we fit, fit those beads all around. Then we're going to come back with some hot glue. And we're going to start attaching them to the frame. I know this is looking weird, but bear with me. <laughs> so we're going to continue gluing like this until we cover all of that frame. Now you can see better because I remove all the beads. <laughs> so we're gonna continue just attaching them like this and they stay pretty nicely. So just add your glue, use Gorilla Hot Glue because that works a little bit better and just continue adding them to the frame. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that in the middle, that one, and I'm gonna place it a little bit better. <laughs> and after that, we're gonna paint it using beige color from Harry's Paint. Now that I have it painted, I'm gonna take burnt umber and I'm gonna give it a good dry brush all around those beads. After that, we're gonna take ivory from Waverly and we're gonna do the exact same thing with the ivory. We're gonna give it a good dry brush all around. When we dry brush it, we're gonna let it dry. And you know I didn't. <laughs> we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna proceed to add a little cuteness to our wreath. And I started with this, but I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some leaves and you will see that right now, those leaves. <laughs> and we're gonna attach those leaves to the corner like this, just like that. And then I'm gonna come back with one of the small hearts that we use for the arrows and I'm gonna place one of those there. Look at that, so cute, so cute. Here you can see my tray just styled and beautiful. Okay, it's a little bit overcrowded because I just love to add and add and add lots of stuff to my gear tray. <laughs> but you can see the DIYs over here. Here you have the heart and I have the arrows over there and I have the love sign over here and more arrows over there and the other heart. And here you can see them together. They are looking so, so cute. In the bottom, you can see also the wreath over there. 
looking beautiful. Remember that in the description box down below, I'm gonna leave you the link to the playlist and also to Carol's channel so you can go and check her out and check out what everyone else came up with. And remember that if you like modern farmhouse, bow decor, and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here, so subscribe and hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend so we can grow a lot more. Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.